Hello there, my name is Mr. Smart Anki. Welcome back to my last play of Hard West. So last time we left off, we had discovered a few more locations after we had defeated the people at the Cannibal Farm. So we got the Kramers in, we got the Demon's Hideout, which I think is where we're going next. And we also had one more location, I believe. Yes, Hope. And we can still go to the Indian Totem, where we can sacrifice one of our people for a whole bunch of money. But I don't think I want to do that. Although technically, if we are playing the bad guy, maybe we should. But I don't want to play... The bad guy as in getting rid of people that can help me fight and not die constantly so anyway first of all i want to perhaps do some buying i'm not entirely sure if i do want to buy anything but we may as well have a little look see here i can buy another repeater rifle but i don't think i need to i think i've got no the, he, he, one of them doesn't have a repeater rifle but it's close enough i don't think i want to waste money on that i can get this for an extra plus one damage though i'm kind of tempted 80 bucks though it's pretty expensive Plus six movement's pretty good as well for the guy who's going to be using the shotgun. Yeah, I think I will actually buy this. Let's just, let's just go for it. Let's just be crazy. Why not? Alright. I could even buy or sell the little pistol because it's fucking terrible. I'd rather have nothing than that pistol. No, that's not true, I suppose. It's so crap, though. 80 bucks it's worth, by the way. This is apparently a very good pistol. <laughs> Whatever. Um, okay. So we want uh, the snake leather boots instead of that. So we actually lose the aim... I didn't think about that at all. I mean, end the sight, but no, nah, this, this is still fine. The movement and the damage is really damn good. And then we're gonna give you. Oh god, no, I can't give him the minus one HP though, because then he's on. Nope. There we go. Then he's on three HP, so yeah, I guess you get this. Kinda wanted that on the other guy, but it's alright. So he's got the repeater rifle, he's got the chain rifle. I think we want to switch that around. Actually, his aim is better. No, let's uh, keep it that way. His aim is really good. He's just he's just a almost dead guy because of all these wounds and shit. He's a really good character, actually, if he didn't have all these, these things. Let's go to Hope. I've got a feeling maybe... No, that looks ruined. I was thinking maybe we can heal there or something. I don't know. Like, I want to heal this guy up. Probably going to be pretty expensive, but... Um... Unless there's like elixir that heals stuff up, which it, I find very, I find very unlikely, but I'll have a look anyway. Uh, increases max HP, grants superior aim, restores health. That's not it though. No, he, he doesn't have anything. <laughs> He's got a deadly derringer that we sold to him. Let's go to hope. I don't have to do anything if I don't want to. Like, I can just leave without having to go into a fight or something. Rumor had it the whole time had died of plague in a single week. With the sickness in the air and the bodies on the ground, no one dared to loot the place. Uh, he looted the husk of a town. Now affected by rattling cough. Got a volcano pistol and three bottles of liquor. Found some loot, but there was something in the air. Your breath became heavier and slower. Suddenly an old hag approached. Squat. Walking like a preacher. She said the city was a grave, but not all citizens were buried in it. Seven men were buried in the forest. Six decent folk and one thief buried with his loot. She said if you dug up the thief's grave, you'd be rich beyond measure. Touch the wrong grave, though, and you'd be cursed. Bad luck would haunt you. Sickness would crush your bones and spirits would follow you forever. She vanished, leaving you alone with the memorial marker. Oh god, only part of the memorial is legible. He, all you could make out was Stephen Teague, a hard-working farmer. Romney Tate, a fair judge. Tony Sullivan, a magnificent cook. Donovan Byrnes, a brave miner. And Sam Courtney, the finest blacksmith. Uh. Okay. I don't know what I'm, like, looking for as the thing. Can I get... Only part of the memorial is legible. All you could make out was... Shit. Okay, so we got abandoned grave. Poor grave. Grimy grave. Lonely grave. Pinkerton grave. Cracked grave. Mossy grave. Hold on. Abandoned. Poor. Grimy. Lonely. Hard-working farmer, a fair judge, a magnificent cook, brave miner, the finest blacksmith. Like, I assume each of these has something to do with one of them. Brave miner. Lonely. Pinkerton. 
Mossy. Cracks. I have no idea. I wish I got to read that, what she said again. To get a little bit more insight on that. Maybe I can ask around. Not here, but maybe I can ask around somewhere. Uh, I don't want to buy any of your crap. You sell terrible items, sir. Let's talk to the elixir guy. Perhaps he has some information that could be of use. Nope. What about the Indians? They've been of help before. You want a bottle of whiskey? You sought healing. Ah. They just could put any gunslinger back together with their rituals and herbal medicine if the price is right. Old man Murray. I might heal both, to be honest. Injuries have been healed. I want to see what my injuries are. Because I've got a few. Oh, what's... There we go. So he's completely fine. Look at him. He's a beast of a man now. Uh, I may as well give him a maximum uh, HP liquor thing. Why not? Him too. Why not? You too. Alright, so we have Rattling Cough. Minus 10 aim. Minus 2 movement. Yeah, we gotta get rid of that. We lost the poison thing now, which is good, but we are about to go broke. But we've got a gun if we need, if we need to sell something, we've got a gun. Alright, so I'm fine. Traded goods with the natives. Yeah, I've got a volcano pistol. Where did that come from? Oh, right, I looted that just now. I forgot about that. That's a good pistol. That's the one I was thinking about getting, isn't it? Yes, it is. So... Who would I use it on? Everyone's got the same one. So this is extra one damage. Plus my extra plus one means it would be six damage, I imagine. Heat free. We already have full heat, so that doesn't matter at all. How do we have full heat, by the way? What the fuck? How do we have full heat? It doesn't matter. Um, damage versus half cover is two instead of fun is also two. It just does one more damage. Short range, short range. That's two more ammo for one more damage, but it doesn't have the fanning ability. I think I'll take it anyway. Yeah, somehow we already have full heat. I'm not sure why, but I'll take it. I mean, we just have heat from these two guns, right? Oh, they both give... Yeah, but it, we already had it when this one was equipped. So, oh, maybe one of these things? No, not that I can tell. Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's move on. Okay, so we're all healed. We have 60 bucks. How do I have 60 bucks? I thought I had less than that. Did I not just... I, I thought I had 110, and I've spent 100 just now. Whatever. Um... So yeah, one of these is going to have a ton of money. Let's just go to one of them and see what it says. Someone has tried to dig this grave up, but left in a hurry. A note was nailed to the cross. Seeking this man's lawful heir. Contact me. Romney Tate. This is like a puzzle, I guess. The grave was covered in fresh moss. A pristine green carpet flecked with a morning dew. The only readable part of the epitaph was a fine merchant. The thing is, I, don't, I can't remember which one I'm supposed to loot. Here lies Sam Courtney, a skilled unreadable. Sam had been found stabbed to death in his house with no indication of struggle. The investigation discovered that he'd been testing his stab-proof jacket. <laughs> a skilled... Okay, so Sam Courtney, a skilled... The finest blacksmith. Instead of the skilled. So there's something there that's different. Grave as poor as, it could, as could be. There are meadow flowers around it meant he'd been loved. You should... Weren't sure why, but you had a feeling this grave was a farm was of a farmer. Okay. This is a burial site, but not what you'd call a proper grave. The grave was dirty and foul, filled with broken bottles and other debris. That headstone read Donovan Byron's. This grave bore just a simple cross and did not appear well tended. The name was carved on it. Farron Brigo. I don't know what we're looking for is the thing. Like, I could make a random guess, but I'd rather not. Like, I, I want to know what we're... What the puzzle is again. Because I don't know what the puzzle is currently. There, it said something about seven graves. Seven graves. And there's five of them, like, right here. But which one am I supposed to loot? Like, I don't... I don't... I don't want to, I don't remember the puzzle. I'm gonna look it up, you know what? I'm gonna look it up. I'll be back in just one second. I'm not gonna look up the answer right now, I'm just gonna look up the puzzle again. I'm gonna watch back the video that I recorded just now. Alright, so we're supposed to loot the grave of the thief. So let's just quickly go through them again. Uh, seeking this man's lawful error, contact me, Romney Tate. 
Pristine green carbon fleck of a growing morning dew. Only readable part was the epitaph was a fine merchant. Is there a fine merchant here? I don't think so. No. Fair judge. No fine merchant. That's the closest thing, but it's not even anything here. Uh, a skilled unreadable. Stabbed to death in his house with no indication of struggle. He'd been testing his stab proof jacket. This was the farmer one. Poor as could be, though the meadow flowers around it meant he'd been loved. I've got a feeling this is the one, because the grave as poor as could be. Like maybe they took all the shit away from it, and then the like they leave flowers. Like thanks for giving me all this crap. Pinkerton, this was a burial site, but not what you'd call a proper grave. Filled with broken bottles and other debris, that's some red Donovan Byrons. Dirty and far, filled with broken bottles and other debris. That doesn't sound like it. Very gorgeous, simple cross, and did not appear well tended. The name was carved on it. Farron Brigo. Who is Farron Brigo again? He's not in here. I don't know, I don't want to like make a guess and get the wrong one. Grimy, Pinkerton, poor, abandoned, cracked, mossy. I don't know. Also, I want to check out what we get for an option here now. Hold my memory. Sorry, old pal. Sacrifice Brandon Scott. You never liked the way he wore his breeches. <laughs> no. Okay, so I can actually sacrifice someone now. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I want to take a guess here. But the thing is, probably one of these things is actually going to give us a reward for, like, next scenarios. Got a feeling it's either the poor one or the lonely one. But yeah, we're supposed to... <sighs> I don't know. Did not appear well tended. I don't know. Let's just move on. Let's just get back to that later or something. I don't want to look it up because I feel like that's cheating, but... Let's go to Kramer's Inn. Maybe we can get a tip there or something. Kramer's di dilapidated joint played host to a rowdy bunch of ugly mug drunkards. And it was your lucky day. Sitting at the bar was one of the masked man's thugs that killed you. <laughs> Stabbed the thug in the back. You got the cheapest drink they had. Just needed a little courage. You got the best and strongest drink they had. Nothing like a little courage. Like a liquid courage. You ordered a suspicious smelling stew. You bought liquor. I guess this is just the yeah. gas bomb. There's opium. Bulletproof vest. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's really good for him, actually. I mean, we already got so many el or something else, and it's a bit too expensive currently, but... It's definitely something to keep in mind. Chain revolver. Fucking hell. Causes damage over time, and it all caught in the blast. I like that. Uh, I can't really afford it right now, though. I'm gonna not do this right now. I'm gonna do this later. Hold my Murray... Oh. Looked like he was drinking to forget. While you were checking the inn out, he just sat in the back, downing glass after glass of the worst poison they had, muttering about something... Someone named Roberta helped him out. Okay, what have he... Oh. What has he got? Inebriation. What does that do? Minus 5 A, minus 2 movement. God damn it, I just healed him. I can't afford 50 bucks right now to heal him again. He's, he just have to do with his drunkenness. Let's go to the demon's hideout. This hell is the home of the retired demon gang leader. You unleashed hell. You unleash hell later. No, let's unleash hell. Why not? Let's do it. Alright, everyone's got... Yeah, everyone's decked out the way they're supposed to. Let's, uh... Unleash hell. Wish I'd gone here before I went to that inn, but... You're supposed to retire demon's hideout with your, with your mind on his money. This wasn't going to be pretty. Yeah, I don't know why we're doing this, actually. This was the place where the demon and his troop were residing. Yes, it was. Alright. Enemies, enemies have been alerted. Okay, so we can see free right now. Kill the retired demon. It's one versus one. Oh, we got a good flank on this guy, I think. If I got it right there, we should have a pretty good chance of killing him, I imagine. The golden bullets. I forgot about that. How's that work then? Never misses. Ooh. Obstructs. Ignores all obstruction. Right. So I can just like ten technically shoot that over here or something. Or not. 
Yeah, I can. Oh my god. Oh, what? I wonder if I can line up a shot right here. Have to be from like right there. I don't think that would hit. Maybe. I wonder if it's worth a try. I'm tempted. Like from right there. It might do. I'm not sure. I think it. I think this guy's is a little bit like. If he was one step this way. Maybe not. I'm not sure. You know what? We're gonna give it a go. I wanna test this out. Oh, another guy right there as well. Golden bullet. Let's fire it at her. No, you know what? Let's fire it at him. Because he's more like or he's more important to kill, isn't he? Because he's closer to us. And it might still hit her, I suppose. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, that doesn't I don't know, maybe it just hits like maybe it doesn't actually penetrate and hit more people. Uh, there's a guy right there. If I move right here, I should be able to get a good flank on him. Who is you? You had a shot on people, right? Yeah, you have a pretty good shot on this lady in here. We can get to the window, probably get a 100% chance shot here. No, we actually ruined the shot somehow. Well, might be better with the pistol. No, it's not. How is that such a shit shot all of a sudden? Well... Take it with this 60. We have a higher percent chance to kill this guy over here. But we're already going for her, so we don't... Yeah, I guess we'll just go for the 60% here. Scavenger. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, it's because we're using a shotgun. Really? Oh, she's begun half cover. I didn't even realize that. That was stupid. Well... Oh, and that's both AP. Oh my god, I'm ruining this entire fucking mission so far. This is not a good start for a mission that looks like it's going to be pretty tough. Yeah, she's behind half cover somehow. I didn't realize that was the case. Eh, we're fine. We can do this. And he used a shotgun. I, I thought that was someone else, but it wasn't. Stupid. Oh well. Um... We should be able to kill her now, right? Yeah, six damage on her now, if we hit her. I guess that's probably the one we're gonna go for, but we'll check out the rest of the stuff first. So he should be able to get a good shot. Over here, on that lady right there. Ah, you forgot I was here, didn't you? Little lady. Alright. Actually, that doesn't even kill. I forgot about that. These have six health. Okay, you... Uh, not very good shots on anyone. I can't quite move anywhere useful right now. Move a right... No, that doesn't help anyone. Move right there. That would be a flank, which means I could kill that lady off. I think there's still someone else here, though, isn't it? No, we killed this guy. There's still one over there, though. Well, that's too far away. Oh, and there's someone over there as well. But they can't, can't really do much either. This person could outflank me, though. If I go right here. Um... Yeah, they could. Yeah. It's, I mean, we get a free kill, but then we get outflanked. We should have a kill here as well. At least. Let's take that shot, then. Anything better with the pistol? Nope. Alright, take it then. Nice. Alright, can we kill you? No, we can't kill her without doing that, though. That's the thing. Um, go here. I got outflanked. She has a rifle. She'd probably do a lot of damage to him. He's got 9 HP, Old Man Murray, but still. I mean, there's always the chance that he doesn't get shot, but it's a free kill. I think it's, I think it's something we have to do. Well, it's not necessarily a free kill, but... 40... See, really, that flanking is really awkward sometimes. So we only do one damage anyway, so I think instead of firing, we're just gonna head back in here. So yeah, this is not a flank somehow. We need to be, like, if you were right here, it'd be a flank. But right here, it's not. This would be 100% chance to hit. This is 49 or whatever it is. That's so weird if you think about it. I don't like that system too much. It doesn't take account and It doesn't take into account angles at all. Alright, well... 
Um, I mean, it's 47. It only do, would do one damage anyway, so it's just not worth taking. Let's move him over here. Or move it over here. He's gonna get shot at again if you move him over here, but it doesn't mean I don't move up at least. Um, now, if I move him over here, we can next turn move him like over here or something. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, that's the demon guy. He's probably in here somewhere. I've got a feeling I should move this guy over. And then probably reload or something. I can scavenge. I really want to do that sometime, but I need to actually get to a corpse. We can get in here. But then if there's someone else in here, that would be pretty painful. Uh, and we'd be outflanked. Like, we'd probably get shot, so maybe I shouldn't do that right now. Let's go over here. Get shoot at that lady. Probably have a very terrible chance of hitting now. 44. I think I'll reload the gun instead. Okay. You. The lady right there. We can't really do much against her. One more turn until the golden bullet's back. That's good. Uh, I mean, I can have a crack at her, but it only do one damage anyway, so it's probably not worth it. This... I don't like... The, like, if this... Little, this fence is sort of in the way, or the like the wall. Um, I think I'll just move him over somewhere else as well. I don't know where though. No, he's in an all right position. Cannibal. Oh right, we have that. That's just um, I mean, one shot. It's such a. Well, I mean, we make her lose luck. I guess why not. So that way, we can do the actual firing, or the actual golden bullet on someone else, someone more useful. Fifty percent chance to do one damage. Go for it. Make her lose luck, if anything. No? Or do one damage. Get shot right back. Oh! Okay. Ooh, we have a good chance of hitting that guy. We have a shotgun as well. Surprisingly good, good chance to hit with a shotgun there. You have a... No, you don't have a chance to hit him. We can use the golden bullet again, though. But it might not be worth it. On him, that is. Because it'll do four damage. We can do another five or six with the shotgun. I mean, he'll be nearly dead, but he won't actually be dead, is the thing. I think it's better to just kill someone off here. Like her, 2 HP. Or her on 4 HP, if we can get a shot on or a hit on, a hit on her. What have you got? Well, I think I want to use her or him to shoot at that guy. Let's take this shot. I think we're going to miss, though. Pistol any better? Nope. Oh, but we can actually go for the 24% chance three times to get one hit here. Yeah, alright, I'll take that. It's probably going to miss, but... No, did we get... Yes, we got one. Alright, which means we can finish her off. So use uses golden bullets on her, yes. There we go. There we go. And you are going to get a shot on that guy. I could move up. She doesn't look like she could outflank me because she's not... Actually, she might be able to run around. No, she wouldn't outflank me anyway. Let's move up a little bit. Probably get a better shot. Although this guy's got a better chance of hitting me, I, I imagine. Someone over there as well, actually. Alright, take the shot anyway. Nice, that's six damage down. He doesn't have any luck, actually. He's taking a crack back. He's half flanking me, but it, the game doesn't actually see it as flanking, so that's alright. 49 only this time. Maybe go inside right there. It's only one turn to move, so... May even be an outflank, but probably not. 74. It's good enough, though. Might be able to finish him off this turn. If we hit this and then hit another shot, we can get him over. Probably not. Uh, that's worth having a look. He actually can't fire with this gun right now, anyway. So he needs to reload. Uh, I guess we will do that then. 
I mean, I can switch to the rifle. Actually, yeah, we're probably more likely to shoot with this thing anyway, aren't we? Um, but there's no need to do that right now. Let's just reload this thing. Okay. And you are also going to go this way. Let's move behind there. Okay, so this guy is on the 2 HP. The golden bullet will kill him off in a few turns. One more turn, next turn we'll gut him then. Party's ignore him for now. There's still someone over here somewhere, I think. Oh, we weren't actually out of ammo, we just had no one to shoot at. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, let's move you over here. Probably have a shot, but not a very good one. We have a shot at someone else, though. Oh, he's regaining health. Well, he'll still die next turn if he only regains one health, though. Um, we need one damage there as well. That's just fire, why not? Oh, well, now he's definitely going to die next turn. Oh, actually, if I hit this 39% chance, then he just dies now. I mean, may as well go for it, why not? Yeah, I didn't think so. He'll die next turn to this uh, golden bullet. Which means I'm just going to run you inside... That might not have been the smartest move, actually. He's having a crack. Misses. Alright, golden bullet time, lad. I'm glad I uh, have enough um, luck. I didn't think about that at all. But yeah, I have enough luck, luckily. Ha! <laughs> luckily. Alright, we want to kill him for sure. This is the main mission, actually. We don't have to kill the other ones, but I, I assume we still get a chance to afterwards. Now yes. Dead. His soul headed to who knows where. Alright, kill all the remaining hostiles. We know there's one over there, and I'm, there was one here as well, but I'm not sure if that one's still there. Uh, let's check out this little window here. Yes, there is still someone there. We could get outflanked by this person, but if we go right here. Uh, it's not cover, shit. Uh, she's not in cover, is she? So we might actually have a sh good shot here anyway. Yes, we have 100% chance to kill or not to hit that lady. I'll take it anyway. Really? He fires... Th that's the... <laughs> that makes no sense. Why would he do that? Um, You need to reload. Can you fire with the pistol? No. You can fire a, or throw a bomb. That's sort of pointless. Two runs, so don't actually reload free. Alright. Ow! What is wrong with you? Okay, we're just gonna go over here. Just go straight out there, why not? Get wrecked, lady. 78. Okay, you better hit this. Thank you. Shoot truck to pistol again, I forgot. Okay, we noticed one left over here, and it might I think there was one over here somewhere at some point as well. We haven't seen that one for a while. But it doesn't say there's like a particular amount of guys left, so I'm not sure. Normally when there's like three left, it starts actually counting down. That golden bullet's so good by the way, but we haven't actually got enough luck to use it again, so I need to get shot at basically in order to use it again. Let's just run out as well. I mean I don't know where the last person is, so we can't really shoot at her from over here, so I think it's time to get back inside over here. Let's go to the window. Might be able to see her through the window. Quite. There she is. Hiding like a little pussy. I want to use the scavenge ability. Uh, yeah, let's use that. I mean, I can't use it right now. He's the next turn. I want to see what it, like the item that we get from it. Uh, you just move up as well. Let's get you in there. Next turn, we're not, we can outflank her. You, why don't you just have a shot for one damage, why not? Make her lose some luck. Oh, crap. Ooh, that's not good. Ah, we. Okay, we can actually murder her, guaranteed, so... Actually, no, not guaranteed. Well, yes, we can, because we can just flank around her. See, he... She does have that, like, thing, but when I do it with him, 
He, it looks like he can just move anywhere without getting shot. Alright, looks like I should be able to move him right there. Alright, so we got the guaranteed kill. I want to see what we can pick up here. Use it to find a rare weapon. Use it at the end of combat. Uh, why is that not working? Do I have to be right there? Ah. Does that take an AP or not? Oh, I got a... It doesn't, actually. But I can't use it this anymore because we're out of, like, stuff. It's a W double precision rifle. Uh, that looks pretty damn nifty right there, but we can't use it at all. Unless I want to risk losing someone here, and I'd rather not. Oh shit, there's still three guys left. I actually didn't think about that. I thought for some reason that was the last one, but there's still more, so maybe we can actually use it. You are gonna go... I want you to retire from this combat entirely. Let's, uh... Let's move you over here. I want to move him, like, back there next turn. Okay, so you, let's come back here. We're definitely gonna be using the sniper rifle. Okay, please don't kill that guy. Someone in that house. Oh yeah, there's one back here, I forgot about that. I knew about her, actually. Okay, so you got a 71% chance to hit her with a sniper rifle. You're just retiring. I should have a chance for our shots, but let's still move you. Yeah, let's just move you back here. I just don't want to risk you anymore. I guess I can heal a, use a heal, but... Yeah, you know what? We'll use that. Just to make sure he definitely doesn't die. This will heal him more over time, so next turn we can use him again. Um, You are going to go right... Oh, let's go inside, actually. That's a better choice. What have you got? You got a 100% chance to kill. Well, let's go for that then. Gangster was killed. Really? It was a gangster? Okay. Let's move you up a little bit. No shot right now. Uh, there, I thought there was someone in here, but I'm not 100% on that. Let's just... Um, I don't want to move him over there then, because then if there is someone in there, they could just instantly kill me. I don't really want to do that. Let's just leave you right here. Why not? Oh, I should have reloaded. Actually, no, this gun can't be reloaded yet. No. Good. I wonder what the damage on this thing is. Six. They have a special ability, scoped shot. So I can rise two action points to score sure hits. Oh, cool, okay. Oh, but you can shoot twice with this gun. Oh, wow, okay. That's pretty sweet. Okay, well, you have a 100% chance to heal hit that lady. Okay, so we can definitely kill her off then. So I guess we go for the guaranteed shot then, right? We're gonna get our flank though next turn. By the person in there. Um, you're able to get used again, but you can't really do anything useful right now. Yeah, no shots for you. Actually, you can. You have the golden bullet again. Sweet. Well, uh, four damage. So four damage on her. Because then I can shoot twice at... No, we can't kill... No, let's do it on her. Oh, maybe... I don't know actually how much health that one has, so maybe that would have been better. Okay, and then you can finish her off. And then you're gonna go right here. We may actually have a shot on that guy, but it wouldn't be a kill. But he'll be in a decent position. Oh, we don't actually have a shot at all. Well, in that case, fuck you, game. Uh, let's go... See, if I go to this thing, she might come out and just fucking murder him. She wouldn't do 7 damage, though, would she? Or he... Let's just go right there. Yeah, that's exactly what I was afraid of was gonna happen. Oh, but she doesn't actually... Well, in that case... Take a scoped shot in the face. Actually, no, let's just take two regular shots in the face. And again. Take this. 
this henchwoman eliminated, you can now help yourself to their treasure. All right. Mission completes. What do we get? I've got a feeling we got a pretty decent amount of loot right here. 200 bucks. Any items? Some cards, cursed ammo, Lancaster pistol, and petrification bolt. If it's even dead, all the riches were your now yours. And we killed 48 people. We still got to kill 52 more. Man, we're not even close. All right, so let's have a look at these items before we end the episode because it's been a little bit. Cursed ammo, plus two damage, minus 25 max luck. Okay. That's an interesting one, though. That's definitely one I uh, would consider using on someone. We got the Lancaster pistol, two shots per turn, four ammo, three damage. Uh. No, nah, I don't think I like that. Deals minor damage and debilitates enemy movements. Oh, that's like a weapon. Okay. Interesting. Um. Yeah, it says like instead of throwing um, a bomb or something, we use that instead. Why is this like over here? Um. Sure, we'll we'll use that on someone. I mean, we may as well equip it, right? Movement nine. Wow, his movement is so bad. Like I knew it was bad, but that's fucking terrible. He's got a mangled foot. Oh right, I thought he had a cracked skull. Or was that? No, that was an earlier thing, wasn't it? Yeah, and that like that the one we reloaded because we failed the mission basically. Um, cursed ammo plus two damage minus twenty five luck. I think he can. Uh, plus one. He already has plus one damage, minus one HP. No, I think I'll, I won't. I like this too much to not use it. He has plus 45 luck, minus one HP. I think on him, like with the uh, the Curse of Bullet, it's pretty good. I mean, it, it would be really sick on with some other cards, but maybe we should have a look at the cards first then. Why does it keep, like, lagging up when I do this? Hello? Game? There we go. We got Dodge. If there's a chance to dodge the bullet, you will. Oh. Interesting. Uh, shriek. Damage enemies in sight. That's interesting. Reduce every character's HP, or 1 HP, we've seen that before. Every hit you score cripples the target. Shoot all enemies in sight in sequence. See, okay, we want to use it on whoever has this, basically. That's that's uh, what I was looking at. Uh, ricochet, and plus 5 aim. And gain demonic strength, plus 1 HP bonus as well, unholy power. All right, that all sounds pretty cool, but I don't have enough time to really look at the, all this or do all this right now. So we're gonna do that next time. But yeah, I definitely want to like get whoever has this together with the plus two damage and like cripple and like all that stuff combined is such a good thing. But we're gonna look at that next time and the cursed ammo and all that. So until then, have a good day and goodbye.